Hello everyone, and today we're going to talk about how to make money inside the Central Land, which is the reason why we are all here, right? In the community, we're here for the community. What you Nah, I'm just kidding, guys. The community is more important than the money. Who are you going to sell your NFTs then? Nah, I'm just kidding. The community is more important. That's what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> Let's start with the most basic. Number one. Real estate. In the central land, you can buy land and then wait until the price goes up and sell it. This is effective. If you think that the central land will be more powerful in the next years, which I think probably will. Not financial advice. So yeah, you could. But in the meanwhile, you could do other stuff. Number two, all mana. Well, this actually is very basic too. You can buy mana, which is the crypto of the central land, and hold it. You can still do things in the meanwhile, but yeah, it's another way. Number three, and this one is less common of what you could expect. You could work for a company. Now, let me show you a conversation I had with the Metaverse Operations Manager of the Central Games, a company that has casinos and hires people inside the Metaverse. So we are here with the Metaverse Operations Manager. He will tell us how it's working for the Central Games. Sure, so there's a lot of different ways that you can get hired um, and contribute to the Central Games. We have everything from very part-time trainee positions all the way to management and technical support positions course vary in uh, rate, rates of pay and, uh, and hours and responsibilities etc so one of the most like uh, popular jobs or at least like the most famous one is like being a host inside the casino yeah absolutely we have a lot of hosts um, from all over the world are all very familiar with DG at this point and have uh, been with us for usually you know quite some time we have some new employees as well of course but yeah the host position is very popular um, it, it interacts with customers and players directly in the, the different casinos and venues right and what other jobs positions are apart from being a, a host there's different levels of hosts um, so there are expert uh, hosts and also support staff so so other duties include uh, monitoring uh, discord and telegram they can also include running poker games um, and logging and sending prizes to players from uh, both casino events and poker events and things like that okay and may i ask you like the host stuff starts at 200 dollars right and it comes higher if you get uh, higher positions is that right yeah that's correct uh, the $200 a month position it's it's a, a trainee position so it's like eight hours a week we essentially want that to be able to go through it with the, the newer employee to be sure that they're comfortable and they, they have their information uh, correct and are interacting with customers well and stuff like that and then and then yeah as you move up uh, to both full-time um, you'll get a pay bump from that of course so then um, if you go into the experts or support staff uh, role for the team, you will get, again, um, additional compensation for the extra responsibilities. And um, of course, as well, bonuses are available for anyone to really earn. So typically after the $200 uh, trainee phase, you would move on to a part-time position, uh, which would then go from eight as the trainee to about 24 hours a week. Um, and that would increase your pay to around 700 US per month, depending again on, on some of the responsibilities. Um, then additionally, um, if you were to go full time, which would be more closer to a 40 hour a week position, um, then your pay then increases again to, you know, between $1,300 $1,500 a month, uh, depending on your responsibilities and, and things like that. And, and that can be kind of fluid uh, at that level. There is a place in the central end. I don't know if it's still available, but there were many companies offering jobs. So you could go there and check all the open positions. Number four is playing games. Uh, in the central land, we have play to earn games, which are basically games where you spend your time and then you get points that you can exchange for NFTs or wearables. Those wearables or NFTs, you can sell them to other uh, players. And if someone is interested in buying the wearable or NFT, you will get money from that uh, transaction. However, take in mind, this is not easy because you need to first spend too much time. In the case of Wondermind, you need to spend a full month clicking. And then you need to find someone that wants to buy your wearable or your NFT that you earn from playing. And also if the game is not entertaining, you will get bored very easily. Number five, create and sell wearables. In the central end, you can create clothes and you can sell those. You first need to do 3D modeling and then pay 500 mana 
in order to get approved. And after you get approved, you can start selling those wearables. But take in mind that you need to recover the investment. I mean, if you put 500 mana, that's not uh, a small amount of money. So you must recover that. And the thing is that even if the wearable is the most amazing wearable and you pay the best 3D modeler, usually you will need to do some marketing. It's too hard to sell just by publishing the wearable. For example, my wearable that I have released, which is Black Wolf, it's a wearable that I was able to recover my investment because I have made content with it, right? I have made a YouTube video, right? Uh, so yeah, when I first published it, someone bought it, but it was only one person and that doesn't like recover the full investment of 500 mana. The next one is to create NFTs, uh, especially NFTs that grant access you to something. There are many examples of this. You have, for example, Last Room, Last Lies, where you buy one of those uh, pizza boxes and you join a community that has tutorials and they help you inside the metaverse and they make events and all that type of stuff. Last Slice was started by me and its original idea was to one, show people and myself how to create an NFT, put it on blockchain, then handle payment for that NFT, um, and then set up a private Discord. So it was a learning process for me and how to put all those pieces together. I'd never done it before. And, and the result of that was to get people who were asking questions in the Decentraland Discord about the SDK, about how to build things, about what you can do in Decentraland and the metaverse. Um, I, I was like, hey, maybe people will pay a little bit of money for an NFT, which is cool. And then I can show with this NFT, you can actually do something with it. Not just get a free wearable airdrop to you, or all of this hyperbole around a roadmap and all this future promise stuff. I wanted to show if you buy this NFT, you get stuff immediately. And so one of the immediate things is focused effort on learning how to build in the metaverse. So one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions with me. If, if you have a last slice, you can say, hey, last room, I'd love to get 30 minutes of your time and help me with my scene. Show me how to do something. So one-on-one -on -one training weekly live programming with me. So we'll tackle a concept and we'll have it recorded and put up on our website only for last slice holders. Uh, so we group learn as well. And that was kind of the start of it. I wanted to get more people into central land content creating and it, it morphed into, we became a content creation development company. And now we have 150 people. We've released 50 slices at a time and we just sold out in three minutes. I mean, the first 50 sold out in 12 days, I think. The next 50 sold out in three days. And then this final 50 just sold out in three minutes. So there's something going on here that we've created from that initial learning education aspect. And it's morphed into so much more. Um, started out as access to education, but it's turned into access to information. We have people, we have an NFT, Degen kind of ch uh, chat once a night, once a week. Um, and some people have made six figures flipping and investing in NFTs because of the knowledge being shared within our community. Number seven. One of the most hard things is to make profitable games, right? You can use a land. If you don't have a land, you can ask someone. And if you have a good project, someone will give it to you. And you can ask for a land and develop a game there, right? It could be a game such as well, take as an example as Golfcraft, the new game of my friends Abriel and Pablo. Uh, that game is amazing. It's fun um, and people like it. And then you can sell stuff there. Number eight, host events and sell stuff. Uh, Resonator from MetaParty does this. He invites a comedian called Mike Salby and they sell NFTs in his events. Well, Resonator, what he does is a treasure hunt. So people pay like, I think, $5 or something like that. Um, he does a game where you need to find the seed of a wallet and then the one who finds the seed gets the money from the wallet. Number nine. This is the one that allowed me to buy many of the stuff you are seeing is work as a freelancer. In the central end, especially in the, the central end discord server, there is a channel called hiring. You can offer your services there. You can do 3D modeling. You can create wearables for others. Uh, you can do coding. You can do videos. You can do art. And I had enough luck to find people that are interested in hiring me as a freelancer. And the Shantanan helps a lot. Number 10, become a content creator. And it's interesting because 
you will work mostly for free. So you need to make sure that you like uh, recording videos and you're not just doing it for money. In my case, I have never received any penny from, from doing these videos, but it's true that I have received money, not directly, but for example, some people have bought my wearables thanks to these videos. So it's not directly that I'm getting money from, from, from the views or something like that. But yeah, it's true that, that you can do it. Yeah, it's a possibility. Just take in mind that you need to like it because if not, you will give, give up. So that's all for now. Um, if you know more ways to get money thanks to Centraland, comment this down below. I really want people to live from the metaverse. And I think that, that the metaverse has been a huge help for many people to get money and to to leave and that's a good thing I want to keep saying. So that's all and thank you very much. See ya.